Hello and welcome to our new bathroom. Not finished at all, in fact we've got boxes everywhere but at least this corner of the room doesn't look too like we've just moved in. Um, so yeah, today George and I, or just me because I'm the one that's standing here, is going to be showing you our favourite tan, Amanda Harrington. We have talked about her quite a lot across Made by Mamas but I really thought the best way of showing you how fantastic this tan is, is to do a tutorial. So obviously when I'm doing it on my own, I'll just do it naked basically, otherwise you end up with some weird marks. Um, <laughs> but what I love most about this tan is this amazing brush. I'm gonna show you how it works. But basically it's so fantastic at blending, so you don't get any of those like horrible orange marks here, funny orange elbows, and you know, orange in the places that you don't want orange basically. This tan gives you a really golden, sun-kissed, bronze look, which is what we all need to cheer us up during lockdown. Uh, also advice is please don't do it without the gloves. I attempted that once and I ended up looking like I had my hands in yellow, uh, yellow orangey paint. It wasn't a nice look. So gloves on first and you need to use the pre-colour primer for the body. Just basically means that you're going to get that really nice even look. So put a bit on your gloves, rub together and just work into the skin. Um, I know some people think, oh, I haven't got time to do the primer, but get the kids in bed and do it. It's really, really worth it. Prepping the skin is key. If you've got any dry flakiness on the skin, I would advise getting in the shower first before you even do this and just giving your body like a really good scrub with a body brush um, or some body scrub that you might have in the shower. It really, really helps. So once you're happy that that's gone on there, um, pick up your turn. I'm using natural honey. I'm really quite dark. I'm quite olive anyway, so you're just going to have to figure that out yourself. Um, yes, it's the body mousse. It's incredible. Right, so give it a good shake. I'm going to show you on this arm. One or two or three. One, two, three. One or two or three. Um, pumps, and then get your brush, and then just go to work, basically. So you can see here that I'm working up and down the body, up and down the arm. I'm moving quite quickly because as with any tan, if you leave it for too long in one place, um, you can start getting patches. So I would just, don't like put it on your body and then go off and do something else like make a cup of tea, it would be a nightmare. This brush is so fantastic. Look how amazing that looks already and I haven't really given it that much attention. So right up and around, you can really get like a great buffing motion going on. Right down to your wrists. Don't forget to actually do your hands. That's an absolute killer when you like, you get down to the wrists and then you forget to do your hands. You might need a little bit more on that, but already you can see that I haven't got much on there. Probably need to put a bit more, but yeah, don't forget to do your hands. This is really good as well for blending. So good for blending. Glove back on, pumps, and then go to town quite quickly. Now, normally I'd be doing this in front of a mirror. I'm doing it for you guys instead, so I'm using the mirror. Work, work quite quickly. Make sure you get down and everywhere. Up the neck, obviously, absolutely key. And we'll talk about the armpits in a minute inside the collarbones. Just look at the colour as well, it's so amazing. It's just not, it's just not an orange inside. So there's there. And then we'll go back to this arm. One, two, three. And this is tricky because I'm right-handed, so I really have to like, think of other things that I've done with my left hand. So yeah, keep moving the brush back and forth, back and forth really work all the areas underneath there as well. What you don't want to do is do the front of the arm and not do the back. That also is an absolute howler if you do that. So all on the inside of the arm, like obviously the inside of the arm is not going to be as brown as the outside of the arm. And this bit here I always find really hard. So when I said to talk about the armpits, you've really got to work down that section in there. Not necessarily underneath your armpit, but people forget to do that and then you get a really big streak. And then again, move your gloves, use what's left on your brush and work. Because the great thing again about this brush is that really good at blending. Let's pull that up. 
And one of the things that I love about the Sommelier, one of the things I love about this tan is that it doesn't have that really horrible biscuity smell. You know, the biscuit tan smell. Um, and it doesn't leave marks everywhere. So have a look at that. Can you see how nice that is? And in comparison to my tummy, you can see the difference. Right, let's do the tummy. One, two, three. Go back to your working hand. And then just in circular motions. Just circular up and down, up and down. Make sure you get reach round. Look at that. It's mega, isn't it? Right, the back is going to be a bit of a problem on your own, um, but I still think it's doable. So if you are on your own, never fear women, men, we can do this. Um, for your back, I would just put a bit more on the brush as opposed to going directly onto the skin. And then you can move it around like that and you can do the back on your own. See, it is possible. Um, I would get Dozzy to just do a quick check, but and go around, that's why the brush is so good. Amanda, you're a hero. And then the other side, one more on there. Bring yourself right round, lift everything up. All the way round there. Sorry for the ass view. I reckon that is pretty much Done. Now, obviously, that's just one layer. If you're wanting to go back in and do more of a tan on your stomach, you can do. But to be honest with you, I think one layer is quite nice. And you can, can you see there the difference? I haven't been in the bikini because I tend to wear a swimming costume now these days. We'll talk about that another time. But yeah, you can see here the difference already. And that's just from one application. Leave it overnight and then in the morning, jump in the shower. Um, and yeah, it is without a doubt the best tan that I've ever used.